Grill MC live. What is up, everybody? It is the NHL 17 shirt, but I'm coming off a five week hiatus, but I'm coming back hot. Let's get after it. The first thing that's been that came while I was gone was the competitive seasons. I've been tearing up. I haven't been very motivated to make videos, but competitive seasons has taken up most of my time outside or during my gaming. You know, I got my things I got to do outside. I'm having some life events coming up, nothing bad, all good stuff. But as we all know, when I'm on Xbox, I'm usually on NHL. I might hop on Overwatch, great first person shooter if you want a, a squad based game to play with your friends. But NHL is my game. Now let's check it out. I've been playing a lot of competitive seasons, like I said. I am currently ranked 164 on this current season. Finished 266 last round. I thought I would be able to hold it off under 250, but hey, I still got those two S2 packs. Let's check out the lineup. Since last time I've talked to you all, I've done some changes. Change up the lineup. Shake things up a little bit. We're going to do it live. Bobby Hull. If you have the coins to get him, he's I got him for 135k. If you have those coins, I highly recommend getting him. He has changed my first line offense. Possibly changed my game. I mean, this guy's got speed and skills to bring it to the table. Rest of the lineup, eh, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Defense. I picked up Peter Angelo, Doug Wilson. I heard great things about him. Had to pick him up. See for myself. Mainstay. Best defender in the game, hands down. John Klingberg, he was uh, surprising. You know, he got a little boost from the, the S2 release up to a 90. Those stats are pretty good. 91, 91, 90 on, on the, uh, the skating categories here. 6'2", 180. I don't like the weight and the body checking. I like a physical game, but he gets it done against the smaller guys. And he's, he's rangy. 6'2". He's got a long stick. I like it. Seth Jones, Oscar Clefbaum. He's here for the synergies, but he plays pretty well. Now, Seth Jones is intriguing. Six foot four, 220, moves like a deer, has a cannon from the point, and can lay the body. I mean, there's nothing else I want from my team. That's great. Then on my goalies, I'm still running Martin Jones. He got a huge boost, 87 to a 90. He has his game. Sometimes, like any goalie, he has a bad game, but he usually plays lights out for me. Now, going back here. Now that we're on the topic of competitive seasons, I want to drop something in your mind. I want to, I want to, I want to hack you a little bit here. Give you a mind hack. Season selection. Notice underneath of season two, no entry requirements. Season one, no entry requirements. Maybe, just maybe, they will release something that requires you to have all S2 players. I don't know. Maybe it would really level the playing field. But then again, you know, how would they do that? Legends wouldn't be able to be used. Some of the newer cards, like Team of the Weeks, Player of the Games, would they be able to be used? Because they do have S2 synergies. Don't know. Just an observation for some thought. They also added the S2 sets. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. The HUD Expansion Series 2. I've been doing these, and if you keep watching the video, you'll see a couple of my sick pack pulls that I've had. I'm not going to lie to you, I've only gotten two really good players from the pack pools, but fired up nonetheless. It's good to be able to play you know, competitive seasons, get these rewards, which I will touch on in a second. But here we have trade in 20 rare players here for a pack containing 10 rare players from the Series 2 HUD expansion collection. Same thing, except you're trading in 10 rare players for 5. My philosophy on this is, if you're not using the, the rare players, trade them in. The worst that can happen, you're getting rid of players that you wouldn't use. That, But make sure those players are not going for high prices on the auction house. That's the only advice I have for you. Speaking of this, I have my reward from this competitive seasons. Not season, but I guess round. Now let's, let's do a live pack up. We're going to do it live. Let's do it live. Yeah, baby, live. Let's see what we get here. Contract, sick. Islanders jersey, sick. Taylor Chorney, sick. Healing. Contract. Joakim Noah Nordstrom. Sick pack pulls, like always. Contract, contract. Igor Skewen. 
Elusive. Oilers, North America logo, contract. Shane Harper, a sickening 81 overall. Sam Reinhardt, a sickening 85 overall. Healing. Team Europe logo. Franz Nielsen. Sick. Sick. Michael Davidson. I always wanted him. Oh, man. He's a beast. So, really nothing there. Let's go through the HUD expansion. Let's go to the second pack. Feeling lucky here. I'm feeling lucky. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, baby. You're live. You're live. Contract. 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 <laughs> contract oh Phil Di Giuseppe a nice Italian guy 82 overall Ruzia team logo Brian Elliott what a beast Flames logo healing Brett Connolly always wanted him Sharks logo Josh Bailey oh man my team's complete now contract Predators logo Griffin Reinhardt got the Reinhardt brothers I'm, I'm hype Fiddler, as the great bacon country would say. Austria and oh, Curtis McElhaney. Ho, ho, ho. Looky, looky here. Send them all to collection. Let's go back to the set. Let's see if I have enough to add to this. I've been lucky with these trading sets. So we will see if I have enough. I need 20 players. Do I have 20 players? If not, I definitely have enough for 10. Uh, I do not have 20 players. Okay, we'll do the 10. We will do the 10. Yeah, baby, we're live. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, uh, nine. And we'll do that. We'll do. We'll do a clean bar. We already got another clean bar. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be good to go. Like I said, I'm lucky on these sets. I'm lucky on these five spots. Ooh, let's go open the pack. Let's open it. Let's go. Hot expansion. Five items. Five players. What's the chance we get something sick? Boom. Anthony Duclair rounds the squad out. Franz Nielsen. Michael Froelich. Michael Grabner. That's actually not bad. I think I pulled him before, though. Check those stats out. 96, 91, 96. Oh, man. Mm. The final card? Mike Condon. Oh. Can't put all your eggs in one basket, guys. Can't do it. Just can't do it. So nothing, nothing super crazy there. Mm. But I kind of want to take some time now to introduce a new series that I'm going to attempt to do. If any of my viewers want to play me, we can record the game and we can drop that on YouTube after, you know? We, we, can, we can have some fun with it. Mm. So just let me touch real quick on the competitive season's rewards. Many of you probably already know about it, but the season's prizing. And this is for all four rewards. Ultimate pack rank one. I'm gonna scroll through here. I'm not gonna describe them. You can look at them if you didn't know that this existed. Um, so basically, if you play, you're guaranteed at least one Series 2 expansion pack, which, you know, isn't bad. It's, it's free. It's a free expansion pack. And they're pretty much the same through each round. You get coins if you're ranked super low, but you get an expansion pack if you're at least top 10,000. Same thing through each round. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this round four. I usually finish up around here within the top 500 range. So, I'm guaranteed, what, eight packs plus another two here? Plus another three. Wow, that would be sick. Ooh, an ultra pack. So if you can consistently finish in the top 500, you're going to get a nice nice dose of free packs. But I think that's about it for right now. I'm going to try to do some, some more videos. I'd like to do some gameplay videos for you all. Just to show you what my strategies are like and how I play the game. 
Um, wanted to let you all know, if you're having desyncing issues against people, all you need to do, and what I did last night was I pulled my goalie, and you need to let the entire cutscene run. This guy tried to desync me for like five minutes straight with 30 seconds left on the clock. He kept dumping the puck out of the zone. Not only is EA now enforcing bans on these people, make, make sure you get some video evidence to give to EA. They'll take care of it. They're doing a great job right now. But just follow my tips to not get desynced. Pull the goalie, let the, let the cutscenes run, and you'll be all right. Now this is uh, fun to do this. Get the... Uh, Get the jitters out again. I used to have a big public speaking problem. I found that coming out here, putting myself out on YouTube, talking to you all, letting you know what I think has really helped me communicate with my colleagues and peers at work. I want to say thank you. Thanks to my subs. I'm going to try to do a better job now. This has been the NHL 17 Sherpa. Grill MC.